Good morning, everyone. Uh, yes, I'm Minet. I'm Seremi no Magiza Menomuki. I'm Minet Zonti at Cameroon. I'm a member of the Comedians of Cameroon Music Group. Uh, so, thank you for being here uh, to attend this session. So, uh, I'm here to share about uh, taking the three years to universities. Uh, and I just taking video into African universities actually came uh, for the project called uh, Africa Environment Wiki Focus. And uh, for that particular project, uh, the strategy we decided to use in Cameroon was uh, going to university students, uh, to universities uh, in Cameroon and targeting university students uh, interested in environmental science study and uh, climate change. So next slide. So quickly, uh, so uh, we start with uh, how we started about the Africa Environment Focus Project. Then uh, how we carry out the project in Cameroon. Uh, the third part we see why we choose universities, uh, the challenges and opportunities we have in the project, and uh, we we finish with the way forward. Next. So about the Africa Environment Wiki Focus Project, um, so the project aimed at uh, celebrating African Environment Day, also known as uh, Wangari Matai Day, and it was from March to April 2023. Uh, it was initiated by Wiki in Africa as well as the Wikimedians uh, community in Cote d'Ivoire uh, as part of a project called AKA Africa Knowledge Initiative. Uh, and then the theme of this year, or oh, was the first edition, the theme was the impact of climate change and environmental issues uh, in Africa. So how we carried out the project in Cameroon, uh, we, the project in Cameroon we started in April 1st and we went to April 2nd, <laughs> to the end of the month. And um, we, we had two main activities. The first one was, uh, collecting data and information from specialized uh, organization that those are organization and specialized in uh, studying climate changes um, and its effects generally. And we also had a training with uh, environmental science students in the specific university, like we identify university offering majors in climate change, climatology uh, and climate change or anything related to environment and uh, environmental science. So the, that, uh, those were the two main activities in the project. And uh, yes, the team, yeah, just gonna make on the next slide, there are two people missing, we're four of us, but I just saw that the two names there was, so just keep that apart. So how we cover the project? The first step for us was identify the universities. Since we were interested in uh, specific university, uh, specific majors, we identified five university and sent out uh, applications to the university in March. And uh, the activities were planned for April, so we really had we were really short on deadlines, and uh, uh, we got answers. We have got to reply from two replies from three universities, two public and uh, one private, and we that's how we planned and uh, organized the, the sessions. Next, uh, about the training sessions, uh, the main I mean the content of the session we're focusing on how information is produced on Wikipedia. So, uh. First objectives was like contributing in uh, changing the perception because when we got to to, uh, to the schools, starting with the school administration and then the students, they were like, uh, "Oh, how how is Wikipedia related to the studies at our lecturers said that we should not use Wikipedia? Why are we using Wikipedia?" So we are like, "How is information produced on, on Wikipedia? Uh, then how to use Wikipedia and other sisters projects uh, to for research like." We we're talking about sources, how to evaluate the quality of an article. And then we we're also interested in learn, uh, teaching them how to edit an article. Uh, it was specifically uh, oriented in how to improve with the climate change data. So like typos and really focusing on articles where how you can improve climate data, the, the, add uh, actually climate uh, data into a specific Wikipedia article. And then we also had, uh, we also had some sessions on uh, how to create a Wikipedia article for in the schools in the university where we had we really had uh, like enough time 
we had sessions on how to create Wikipedia article. Next. Uh, the results we have with the project, we, as I said, we had three universities, among which two uh, public universities, state-owned and uh, one private university. Uh, or university pardon. Uh, we had four training sessions. There were two in one university. We had two different classes. Uh, and then we had over 400 participants. Uh, we had four, 40 uh, members, like new uh, registered uh, users on uh, Wikimedia. We, at the end of the project, we were able to create 12 articles, and uh, about 75 articles were edited at the end of the project. It was a one-month project, as I said. So these are the few, these are pictures, some pictures of the of the trainings in the, the four sessions we had next. Uh, next. Okay. Then, uh, why universities? Because, as I said, the project was taking place in 30 different, 13, but 13 different uh, countries. Uh, and we in Cameroon, we choose to target uh, specifically universities for the project. So the project wasn't about universities. We decided to, to go for universities. The first reason was uh, it was we saw it as an opportunity to recruit uh, more contributors among students because uh, we have we have like specific uh, places like we already have uh, I'll say what uh, arrangements, but partnership with specific places where we, we hold. Uh, sessions twice a month uh, in like the four hubs that we have in the country. So we already had like planned uh, all our activity for the next six months. So when the project came in and uh, mm -hmm. we contacted as a, as a user group to join, we're like, okay, we can't just add another project into into what we already have a very, uh, the, the plan is already made for the next three months. So we're like, okay, this is an opportunity to get to a new a new audience. And, we, we, one of the problems that we had identified earlier in the session we are having is that we were having very little university students coming to our session. And it was always like the campus is very far from where we, like the, where we hold the session, in all the cities where we hold the session, the campus are always kind of out of town. So it was, it was difficult for students to come to our, to our session. And even when we had them, the retention was always very low. So we decided, we saw the project as an opportunity to get closer to them. And since the topic was very specific, like it was about climate change, and even in the user group, not many people actually uh, like were interested in or actually knew what they, they could do. So we thought maybe seeing people who are like, they work on climate change, they're interested in it, and they study it in school, they might even do it. The, the interest might be higher if you go to uh, towards them. So, and it was also uh, a way to introduce uh, Wikipedia to those people, to those students. And the last thing is that we were short on time. Like, we had only one month to plan the project and doing everything like logistics, finding the venue, organizing communications. We, we thought having university will be, make it uh, faster for also for the outreach and the communication. So the challenges and opportunity we had, uh, the challenge is like, I, I tried to separate them into three parts because um, we had challenges that were specific to private university, uh, uh, others that were uh, specific to uh, public university, state owned, and they were general. So the general challenges we had that were like common to, to the both, both uh, the two types of universities was the sessions that we only planned one session for each university, and that was definitely not enough. So at the end of the session, students still had a lot of questions, and we didn't plan follow up session to really like uh, uh, grow their skills so that they could actually make a uh, relevant edits after after that. Very few were able to to make a uh, uh, important edit after the session. And then the students who were reluctant as like we had it in other universities, they were like, oh our lecturers, our teachers are telling us that we should not use Wikipedia as if uh, it's not a it's not a it's not a good source of information that things on Wikipedia are fake. So we had to uh, we had to we had that uh, challenge too, and uh, as I said, uh, oh, something that's missing that once once it was not enough. In private university, uh, one challenge that we had there was that their busy schedule. That it was really easy. It was really difficult to have like two hour or three hours of their their timetable to really uh, arrange the, the session, and because they all have the campuses, they all have Wi-Fi there. We had a lot of problems with the. Uh, with uh, IP, so it was not easy to create accounts during during the sessions we're having. Oh, five minutes. Oh, okay. 
public universities, <laughs> like it was <laughs> like uh, the delay response, the bureaucracy, you drop the application, you wait for one or three weeks, you no know, reply, you go there. So it just it was just so difficult. And uh, the university authority <coughs> were not receptive. Uh, and the students in uh, public universities, they were like not really interested in their any extra uh, curricular activities. And uh, no free internet on the campuses that went to the two public universities. And last minute changes like we were the university in Douala, we, we had everything set up. And on the day of the of the session, we had a call from the university that the hall is not available, that we should find somewhere else to do it. So, and we had to like find it all. And at the end of the day, we only had 10 students, whereas we had like 50 students registered for the event because they had to move, pay taxi, and it was not. So public university was uh, yeah, the last minute, no organization. So opportunity like for with our university students is like they're literate and open to knowledge. So it's really easy to get to them and introduce them to, to Wikipedia. And most of them have computers, which is a big challenge in, uh, with the local uh, like editor town that we do. Sometimes when we come see five people, only two have laptops, but in schools where we went, like almost everybody had a laptop, some had it in their rooms, but it was easy to have people with, uh, which are, who are computer literate. And the, act, the outreach and the planning was very easy. You just have to get into the WhatsApp group of the class and everything is easy. And the logistics, uh, in two of the, on the, on the campus, we had everything provided by the university, the whole, the, the internet, the laptop, the projector, so we don't have to go and be renting and doing all the logistics. So it's easy. And those are the opportunities of the university. Next slide. Uh, way forward, next. Uh, for this year, so the, the project inspired us to actually introduce a new project in Cameroon for next year, like really taking Wikipedia into our uh, university in Cameroon. So we are planning to organize a series of training in at least uh, eight universities in the country in 2024. And uh, we hope to be able to create like four uh, wiki clubs in the university because we find out that the follow-up was the problem. So like connecting, uh, organizing, Connecting the wiki clubs, the various universities with each other, it was also a problem because they wanted to know at the other university, can you do something so that we, we try to, to like do some challenges or contests so that we can get to know each other. And like, they, they, I, they, it was like they wanted competition. Like they wanted to know what others were doing and see if they're doing better than the other universities or not. So next. Uh, yeah, so for this, uh, for the project, like the way forward, we are really looking at involving lecturers and teachers in the program. Like they were really left up, left uh, aside. We didn't really involve them, and it was a real challenge. So uh, as well in advocacy as well as in training. So what we are looking for is that when I see a training session with them, or just trying to be present at one of their uh, academic conference, and maybe have a session that because it's a real like the perception of Wikipedia amount of. Uh, uh, academic other in the in the research in the uh, amongst uh, the university the academic is very uh, the perception is not good in Cameroon it's really not good so we want to change that perception and uh, make our uh, lecturers and teachers become allies and uh, so that they could encourage students to use Wikipedia more and maybe why not training training and mentoring them to to use Wikipedia okay last minute I think so the lesson we learned uh, is uh, and that we plan to to use for the for the next for the next uh, like going for the taking the Wikipedia into the Cameroon University next year is like plan long ahead like we're really we didn't really not plan uh, we didn't plan uh, the planning wasn't done well because we made way in the rush so what we are looking for is like reaching out to universities I think two two months before and uh, we're really looking at thinking long term like instead of because the project was just a one month project, so we like we wanted results very quick, really well, rather than really having the students master the, the, the Wikipedia and contributing to it. And we were like focused on one project. So now we want to look at we want to let students choose the project they want to work on because it was a real challenge. We we're like, okay, we want you to do edit on climate change. They were like, Oh, I want to write an article about an artist. I want to do something about culture. So they were like, No, I'm not interested in in climate change so it was really a challenge and uh, uh multiple projects we're focusing on wikipedia and a bit of wikidata and when we did wikidata we realized that many people were interested in other things than wikipedia like writing is not their thing so maybe wiki spaces we also look at wiki spaces and maybe the dictionary too and wikidata to see or what interests to them and let them choose what project they want to work on and really work into making them autonomous like 
we come for one or two sessions and really try to train the trainers so that they they have all the skills they need on campus to organize session and and be contributing on a regular basis so thank you for your for your attention you have room chair do you have time for questions uh two minutes for questions okay thank you yes you can take that chair Thank you for this presentation. It's yeah. really interesting. Yeah, the Actually, mic. I have a, I have a uh, this year, I began to work with the students of the university. So, uh, we talk about uh, involvement in teacher, that's very, very important. Because the UK, for example, from my experience, I use Wikipedia in my uh, my teaching. I mean, I teach um, my ethics. So I select a lot of time, a lot of articles about bioethics, and I ask my students to, to write about this. And it was uh, evaluated. I mean, I evaluated the work and the. My, my colleague in Wikimedia uh, helped me for uh, the best uh, evaluation. Uh, I am uh, happy also to know that so with us here in this meeting, we have another uh, university teacher, uh, Jadir, who is uh, uh, teaching uh, uh, music, and we will work together next time. So uh, if you uh, can have teacher with you, uh, I think that we have uh, a lot. And if, if they can, not only make like cultural events, but if they can you can get in the uh, courses, that would be nice. And even evaluated, oh, that would be uh, nice. And the students actually like it. But one thing is very important, because you did you said that a uh, teacher will be reluctant, I did very resistant. Instead, I make it clear in the beginning. That is not a reference. I mean, you cannot use Wikipedia in your academic search. But Wikipedia, for you, it's very good exercise to write. To write. It's exercise for writing, not for your academic, because we effectively we don't accept Wikipedia as source. Uh, it is good for writing, it's a good exercise for scientific writing, and also it's uh, good uh, to be volunteer. So we have uh, like a slogan to be volunteer. And be volunteer with Wikipedia. This is uh, thank you. This is also yes, we can say it in this way. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for your contribution. Uh, Martin, one, one last question. Or we... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Two. Oh, you can take two. Oh, okay. Yes. I would like to know a little more about address issues and how you overcome it. Uh, okay, the IP address uh, is like when you are in it, like sharing Wi Fi with the class or the not more than three people can log in to get the same address. So we had, um, like, we had some students logging in with their phone. Uh, with like the uh, private internet that are yeah, uh, not connected to the Wi Fi. We also have the, the dashboard. That actually, for one of the sessions, the session where we had the, the, the biggest problem, the, the dashboard, the outreach dashboard crashed. I don't know what was happening, but that, on that day it crashed, so we couldn't use it to create new accounts. And uh, for the last session we had, we asked, actually asked students. Because there was already this event, uh, the event platform, the new platform that is on. So we asked students to register and then they had to create their accounts. So that's why on the last session we were able to have like 30 students who registered. So they registered before the event. So it was easier so that because they were not uh, registering at the same time. So it was easier to have more students. Uh, like they came for the session, there were like eight of them and about 20 had created their account before the session. So that's how we but for the first uh, workshop we had, we ended up having only five students with the program. So thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the first five students were other students, and at the same time, we were selling for students. We have students who are interested in it. So that's how we choose the university. And then we we're looking for, because we were short on time, time we we're looking for universities where we actually have contacts. 
so that they could go get the validators <coughs> and get the letters getting faster. So that's what they did. For the private university, we actually had somebody who worked there who was a medium, and he actually helped us have the answers in one way, and everything was paid over. We had two sessions in the campus because we had somebody who could explain to the school authority the importance of it, and then they wanted to ask them to different classes that drunk with them and have to defend our session so that was and we also tried to have four we had an identified five and it was in four different cities so we didn't want to do everything in Dwarf so we went to um two in the lower area we didn't have an electricity answer in the other two answers from two we were really trying to do to get to different cities yeah but the first criteria was are there students there who are just in the dimensions of the that we understand the architecture first, we focus on what's happening. Thank you very much for your. Uh,